It says, bring in every thought to the obedience of Christ. How can you do that? It's easy. If God helps you. You can't, we can't do any of these things, but we can put on the Lord Jesus and he can do it through us. Greater is he. Well, wait a second, Jack. I have these bad thoughts. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Now we can either believe it or not believe it and, and live. I choose to believe it. I choose to believe by that one offering God has perfected forever me. Jack Bureau. That God loves Jack Bureau. I don't care what I did in the past. God doesn't even see that. All he sees is me and Jesus Christ. All he sees is you. I hope you realize that what God gives us is free. He is, is, what can we do to earn salvation? Absolutely nothing. Well, if we couldn't earn salvation, what about the rest of it? We, we don't stand a chance. I want to receive it by faith tonight. Everything that God has me is in Jesus Christ. Yes. And Jesus Christ is in me. Now, I will say this. You have to, you have, to have a life that, that, that wants to please God. You can't live your own life and have his life. That's where we go amiss. Well, we want to, you know, God's given me these things. And then we go back to doing the same thing. And it doesn't work like that. It's like the scripture that, brother, that was the Lord speaking to you, Michael. It says, seek those things that are above where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. We're, I hope I'm making some sense here. I hope I am. But the Lord wants to give us, the Lord has given us everything we need. And it's by faith in what? In what Jesus did for me. And what Jesus did for you. Don't let the devil rob you tonight. All the promises of God. I think Carl mentioned this or somebody did. All the promises of God are yea in Jesus Christ. I, I, I ain't waiting until I get good enough. If you want to wait till you get good enough, fine. But I am going on with God. The Bible says let's, let us go on to perfection. Praise God. I, there are so many good things for us, folks. As a child of God, we can get up in the morning. It, it says it, his mercies are new every morning. Yeah. Wow, you get up in the morning, you say, man, I am clean from what I did yesterday. Yeah. Folks, there's nothing boring about the Christian life. If you're bored in the Christian life, you need to take a good look because he is life. He's abundant life. That song that Youth Court sang, yeah. oh, the last one, oh, be mine. And oh, wow, that was really awesome. Jesus is all those things to us. Yes. He's those things to me. And uh, I love him because he loves me. And he loves you too. I just want to say one thing. I want to go back to uh, what Jack was saying there. Uh, I'm convinced that the joy of the Lord is our strength. I tell you, I'm just going to tell a little couple of stories. Uh, Y'all know I used to work at the prison out there. And I used to go to work early. I had to beat the traffic. And uh, can you tell, can you yourself tell somebody's a Christian without them ever saying a word, without them saying, oh, this and that and other? Do you think you can really tell? You can. Because I'm going to tell you what, there's a spirit about them. There's a joy about this Lord that we serve on their face. Some of us don't never smile. I'm going to tell you what. We need to be smiling. I think somebody said that. I tell you, uh, this lady, I used to stop and get coffee every morning. She was a black lady. But there was something about that lady. She never, I mean, she never, I never asked her. But I got to know her. I'd go there. I stopped there just to get that coffee because she would always say, it's a beautiful day. She says, you know, it's just a beautiful day. She had this, uh, uh, music on the radio it was about the lord and one day i told her i says uh i said i told her some stories i says uh you're a christian aren't you she said i love the lord don't you you know what that blessed me but i don't want to be around somebody that's got uh i'll just give you a, an example that they're whoa is me oh me everything's so bad i said praise the lord it's a good day oh no brother <laughs> I'm having a time. Oh, I got a trial. My mama, bless her heart, she's going to be with the Lord. I used to have to, when I called her on the telephone, 
she had so many pains. I would call and she, I'd say, how are you feeling today? That's the wrong thing to ask her. <laughs> that was the wrong thing. I'm telling you to, to get to a point. We need to praise God. Amen. We need to say, Lord, I thank you for this trial. I was at the prison. I had these inmates in, in my, I travel around and doing different work. That was my, my truck. I give them five minutes a piece to tell me whatever they want to tell me. And then it was my turn. And I would tell, I would tell them, I say, uh, they would talk about the trial. I said, you need to thank God for your trial. They said, but Mr. Hutto, are you okay? <laughs> I said, yes, I am. That's the truth. We need to start thanking God for these trials. I was thinking, uh, uh, I was thinking about that song. I wish I could sing, but I can't. I, God's never given me that talent, but I tell you what, I can make a joyful noise. <laughs> to me, it's joyful. It might not be to you, but to me, it's joyful. <laughs> it's that song that goes like this. Lord, I see so much in me that I can't get right. Things that weigh me down each day and steal my sleep at night. But in your word, I read about a peace I wish I felt. How can you forgive me when I can't forgive myself? Help me out here, the last verse. It was enough, it was enough the blood that you shed, that you rose from the dead. Yes. Folks, that's the ticket. Yes. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a, just one little drop was enough. We need to believe that. I don't know where you're at tonight. I don't know what you're going through, but I know this. God is big enough, and he loves you. Whatever it is, if you know he loves you, you need to start. You need to return to that joy that you had. I, I thought about when the Lord saved me. I was telling Brother Bob, when I come back home, I'm telling you, I was jumping high. I wanted to save my whole family. I tried to, but that didn't work. They didn't want to hear that. But there was a joy. There was a peace. And I wasn't ashamed of my God. We need to return to that and not be ashamed of our God. You know, uh, I don't think God wants us all jumping pews and rolling in the floor. I mean, forgive me. I don't, you know, if, if, you know, you can do that at home if you want to. But, <laughs> but I think there needs to be, uh, I'm telling you, we come to these services in here. You need to be excited. You know, if Jesus Christ himself has been up here, you say, well, if he was here, he is here. He's speaking through every one of these men here tonight. And he's telling you, I love you. I believe the Lord wants, is telling us to, in these meetings, return. You can have that joy again. Like Jack said there, you know, I'm going to tell you, that lifted my spirit. The, the Lord's been speaking to Jack. Because the devil's never told me, oh, Harold, you're just, you're just such a blessing to everybody. I'm just so proud of you. No, he tells us this, you ain't no good. You ain't nothing. But the Lord tells me this, I love you. I love you and stick, keep looking to me. And that's what all of us need to do. I appreciate the Lord tonight. Every one of us can have that joy. Do you have that joy tonight? Don't you just love the Lord? Well, if you hadn't got it, he wants to give it to you. Don't look at all your circumstances. You know, you, that's what we do. The devil gets our minds on looking at our problem and our trial. If God's give you a trial, the bigger the trial, I'm telling you this, I say this, and this is the truth. The bigger it is, the better the blessing. But you won't have that blessing unless you bow the knee and give it to God. Say, God, this is your trial. You sent it for me. Accept that. Stop making excuses. Turn around. Praise the Lord.